This is an example of the wraparound shot. An impossible shot to defend, and we're going to go over it on the field. Coach Miller here with B2B Lax. We're talking about a couple things on the field. We showed you some clips of the college games. These are the hardest types of shots to defend. And I'm calling this one right here the wraparound shot when you're basically right at GLE, where it intersects with the crease, so like right here. So right here, what I'm talking about, like the, where the crease intersects with the goal line extended. If you can get just above this spot, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be extending your arms to shoot around the goalie, so your stick head is basically like three yards in front of you, and then you're going to shoot around them for that far side pipe. With the wraparound shot, there's two ways to shoot it. We'll work it on the lefty right now. So, a lot of guys you'll see, they'll get to here, they'll extend, they'll try to wrap around for that far side pipe. But another thing you want to practice is going five hole too. So you get to GLE in the crease, you're up, and then you're literally trying to shoot it right between his legs, because it's hard for the goalie to get to that and make that save. So you want to be working on boom, and then you want to be working on boom. So you're changing the direction of where you're putting the ball placement for the stick and you want to do that both sides. Right now we'll kind of run through Freddy kind of coming both sides just 50% to show you working on the five hole shot. Come on the left side now working on the five hole shot. Boom. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Depending on how the defender is guarding you, will allow you to know if you can get a shot here, or if you can get up to the money spot, which we've talked about in other videos, or which we're also going to talk about if you get to out a little bit wider for the low angle shot when you're looking for that far right hand corner. Whistle's got a goal, he's got two! Found the back of the net yet? Yeah, that's spot on. And I'm playing decent, decent defense. Boom, he's out. Right like that. Very hard to defend because the coma slide would be coming there. The defender like relaxed for a split second. The goalie didn't necessarily think he was going to shoot it because he didn't have an angle, but he still did because he'd been practicing and he shot it. So let's do like, just go through a 50%, both sides, low angle shot. Working on the low angle shot. Perfect. That's perfect. That shot right there is hard to defend. I'm playing good defense now. Boom, boom, boom. He's out to here. I relax for a second because I think I'm good, and this is when he shoots. Shoots for that far corner. There you go, there you go. So right now we're just talking about the two shots. We're talking about right here, the wraparound shot, and then the low angle shot, which is just above GLE, where you don't have much of an angle, the goalie could have dipped or whatever, and you're shooting for that far right hand corner. I'm a defender here, and he can kind of get to this stage I'm, I'm lagging behind him a tad. He gets his body's right at the spot, and he's extending those arms, and then he's shooting for that far side pipe. Those are the concepts there. Now let's go over the concepts of the low angle shot. So now, I could be playing him, and I'm a little bit better. So on this situation where I was trailing him a little bit, he's able to get to that spot. The closer you get to the net, the better it is. Because keep in mind, more often than not, there's a slide coming, but if you can get the wraparound shot before the slide comes, it's going, it becomes almost impossible to defend. But, say I'm guarding Freddy here, 
and I'm more parallel with him. So now he's drifting, I'm kind of pushing him out to the sidelines and he gets basically to the first hash mark, which is right above GLE. And he's at the situation and he's gonna kind of, he's gonna look at the goalie and see where he's at. Right now the goalie's in good position, but if he's not, and a lot of times you see this with the best shooters in college and in high school, pinging for that top corner. So you wanna be practicing this low angle shot too. And then in other videos that we talked about, we get to the five and five up here, where you can do some sort of a question mark dodge or whatever, and you get more of an angle. But right now we're just talking about the wraparound shot where we have the wraparound, if the, if the defender's trailing you, then if he's playing good defense, you can kind of step back and trail there. So right now we're kind of go over the wraparound shot on the other side, same concepts. So now I'm trailing, I'm not playing great defense, he sees the coma slide coming, his hands are extended, he's shooting for that far side pipe, that far side pipe. Parallel with him, he's coming, he's getting here, I'm pushing him out a little bit, he's got the low angle shot, he's there, and he's now he's shooting for that far side pipe over there, for that far, that left side part with his left hand shot. So you guys want to be practicing, if you want to become better shooters, you want to be practicing this wraparound shot, right here where you're getting your hands extended around the goalie. And then you also want to be practicing this low angle shot here. We see the freshman and another goal. Strong dodge from behind the cage. And Cornell just no help. It looks like actually- Here's a good game, huh? Score a goal tonight. Curse. Bouncer from an impossible angle. What a ridiculous shot by Kirst. You're going to see on this rollback, he's going to use his defender as a screen. So you can see he's got the short stick matchup of Rice. Syracuse trying to get support over there. Kind of the fadeaway jump shot, if you will, Anish. He sees the defender, rolls away from pressure. All right, here's a low angle shot with a bounce. So you want to be practicing this as well. Look, he's probably at the second hash mark above GLE with a nice little bounce. It's like a curveball, just getting there right in the net. That's honestly impossible to defend as well. All right, so we got on the field there, showed you the wraparound shot and the low angle shot. Also show you some clips from the recent Cornell Syracuse game. That was an awesome game. Cornell won that game in overtime this past Monday. So those shots are impossible to defend if executed properly. The wraparound shot, you wanna practice going top corner and five hole, which we went over on the field. Also the low angle shot, you wanna work on shooting for that far corner and that bouncer shot that you saw the Cornell guy execute as well. One more thing, if you guys are looking for some extra free lacrosse training, I put together a free series for you. All you have to do is click the link right here in the description of this video, and it will take you right there. I'll email it right over to your inbox. That's it for now. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna have another video come out next week. Talk to you soon, Coach Miller.